Pet Talk this morning, toxoplasmosis. Did I say right. it correctly? Very good, very good. I had to practice that one. <laughs> what exactly is that? Toxoplasmosis is a protozoa that is carried in, it's in, found in the soil, it's found in little varmints out there, uh, that cats are the only species that can pass that on. And so cats have gotten a bad rap recently, especially with a very high profile pediatrician, Dr. Brazelton, who does a column. And a lady who was pregnant said, sent in a question, uh, a concern about you know, should I get rid of my cats? Because I've heard that there's problems with them. And he gave some pretty bad advice, yeah. actually. He ought, to stick, he ought to stick with the human babies. Yeah. Um, that is again. all the arms now. Uh, the, the problem is cats, yes, cats can carry the disease. Mm -hmm. And it can affect, the disease can affect the unborn baby. So it is dangerous. You do need to take care. But here's the issue. Most people in the United States have already been exposed to it, which means they're immune. They're exposed by undercooked meat, mm -hmm. by gardening, those types of things. And most cats are not uh, transmitting it at the mm -hmm. time. How can it affect the, the unborn baby? It can cause some developmental uh, but problems. But how does it get to the unborn baby? Well, if, it's in the mo if the mother is exposed and contracts the disease, then it can transfer to the okay. fetus. All okay. right. And, and the, the way big issue mm -hmm. here is there is no reason to get, get rid, rid of the, the cat. cat. Right, and, and see, the, the only way that it is transmitted from the cat is when the cat is actively infective and passes the, they're called oocysts, mm -hmm. passes mm -hmm. these immature uh, versions of this little thing in the litter box. So the very best thing that you can do if you have a cat and you're pregnant is have your husband change the litter box. Right. <laughs> it's a great <laughs> excuse. It. It's a great <laughs> excuse. The other advice that, or the, the misinformation that was passed on was the concern that cats will seek out babies out of jealousy and smother them. That That's ain't true. true. Okay. That ain't true. I'm sorry, folks. That's an old wives' tale, and I'm very disappointed that this was passed on by somebody that has such credibility. Yes. So I just want to pass that on. Cats do like warmth. They are very curious about something new. So make sure that when you are going to have an infant that, that they get the opportunity to explore the nursery, all of that. So it's not new when the baby comes. Mm -hmm. And of course, always, always supervise with any animal because, you right. know, the baby is a warm thing makes interesting noises. So the kitty cat is going to be interested in that and may curl up next to the baby or even, you know, across the baby. That's with any pet though. With any pet. Yeah. Yeah. With They're any not pet. heavy. No. After all. Well, there, this one's not up for adoption. This no. One, no. no, Trex is not up for adoption, but we do have some beautiful kitties. Uh, we keep our adoptable kitties at the PetSmart in Sherman. Mm -hmm. They ask us to do this and we're having a tough time keeping them supplies because they're really? good. Yeah, that's a good thing. Though. There's some it's beautiful cats in there now. Yes, they're all fixed, current on their shots, friendly. Okay. Oh, and something that um, ladies who are expecting or planning to expect, they can go to their doctor and get a blood test and find mm -hmm. out if they are already protected. They can also have their cat tested. If the cat comes back testing positive, it says kitty cat's already been exposed. He cannot transmit anything. The cat's safe. Cat stays in the home. But you don't and need to tell that to the husband. So no. you still do the litter box. And the, the other thing, just real quick, I know we're almost out of time, but babies and children that grow up with cats and dogs have a lower, lower, lower incidence of developing asthma or allergies to mm -hmm. them. I've heard that. That's mm -hmm. a very good thing. So don't think that that's going to be a problem. It's actually going to be an asset. Really? Okay. Well, thank you guys so much. And if you would like to learn more about adopting a kitty cat, remember this one is not up for adoption, but you can get them at the Sherman PetSmart, or you can also mm -hmm. call Tommy. Uh, there's her phone number there on the screen. As you know, don't call her until she gets home. That's right. Give me time to get home. We'll be back in a moment with more of Tom's seven-day outlook coming up.